welcome to Mobile Electronic Diagnostic. Uh, this is Muhammad Harun Idris. Today we have a 2008 Honda Accord two doors V6 engine. No communication with a diagnostic link connector. Let's see together what happened. And also the car go into limb mode. They say this throttle body need to be reset or uh, program or you know like uh, initialize. But I don't believe so. So or reeler. So let's let's see what's going on. First, we have to deal with the power uh, that there is no power on the DLC. This is the car. Okay, this is the car here, and uh, first we have to look for fuse number 15. Fuse number 15, I believe you have to look at it through here. Okay, if you don't have no numbers. If you don't have no numbers, that's that's the problem. But if you see here number six, seven, and then uh, fifteen, supposed to be backup fuse. Number fifteen here, you see this. So if you look at the fuse box, if it is like this or this way, I believe this this way like this. This is the fuse box, the layout of the fuse box. Fuse number fifteen, supposed to be this is six, seven, and this is fifteen backup fuse which means that the first fuse here back up here for example so if everything is okay and those are relays so and in in the middle here you see this also a fuse a glass fuse you see this one here like a high fuse but if you look at this fuse here one and two the third one this one is a fuse number 15 because this is look big a little bit and then this is big a little bit they are empty so this one number 15 and 16 so if you count it from here one two three four five six seven this is number 15 this this fuse here is for the backup fuse or data line connector fuse and this fuse is feeding a lot of stuff Ignition switch, uh, some radio, some uh, this fuse. If you look at the wiring diagram, it it feed a lot. So what it does is from here, which is this fuse here. If we count one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So let me see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this one here, small here, seven point oh, is a small fuse. This one is this one here. This fuse, I just spoke to you, the first one here, uh, the red one, which is this one here, hold on. This fuse here, if the fuse is good, this fuse is gonna leave uh, this fuse box and it's go directly into the car. But it doesn't go, it go to the fuse box that inside the car, on the driver's side. It go there and from there, some of them is go inside uh, that fuse box, which they call it uh, multi, uh, it's like a multiplexer, or uh, they call it a multi. A, they call it a multi, a multiplexer. Okay, let me see. They call it a multiplex, multiplexer, or MCU. This fuse. Um, this this fuse box. Inside this fuse box, inside this fuse box here, there is a path through, like mean the, the same wire, that wire is a white color. It's come inside this fuse box and it never stay. This fuse box, it have a computer inside. Some, one line, it feed the computer and one line go through it, go through the, 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 the wire the wire go through the box and come out and feed the the obd2 here this wire this wire here because i don't know if they need to change that piece or what they need to do i did not do anything i just because i don't have no power and from here when it go through is not only come here it will go all over right now if i disconnect this piece you will not hear the beep of the key in ignition beep. You see this beep, it says 
Let me disconnect this for you. You see, I disconnected because what I did is I jump this wire from the main power. It's just like a full power. You see, I take this power here and I put it here to get power to the diagnostic link connection. Okay, now I put it in. You hear? You see? I have communication and my diagnostic also will communicate. Not only that, this wire that you see here is coming through that box. It feed also the the power window switch, the master power window switch. This one here. This why the power window is not working. This but this master switch also is get feed by that. You see now with the ignition on. I'm gonna turn the ignition on. Car will start, but I will not get. You see the ignition is working now, but. It also feeding that one. Maybe the power is reaching there, but it's being cut somewhere. Also, the driver door courtesy light. That where you see pip 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 pip. Also, it feed the immobilizer keyless. How are you? So now it feed also the keyless uh, control unit. It feed the power window, driver door courtesy light, front passenger door, the gauge control module, the DLC. It feed also the handset link for the phones. So this fuse part, it doesn't, it feed it through other, uh, other way. That means after it leave, the, after it leave this piece here, it will go into another junction box. They call it driver junction box somewhere. And from that driver junction box, it 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 comes through those items. I don't know where or what happened, but I need to get communication with the car because we have a problem of the. We have the problem of car going to limb mode and they say that the throttle body need to be reset no the throttle body doesn't require reset i mean doesn't the throttle body on this car doesn't require reeler it just require uh to reset the coats let me come um just to to have the conclusion after we have the communication we diagnose the car and we are getting a code P2118 and that it say that throttle body actuator current range performance. This car doesn't require a limited ignition on. There is no adjustment for the throttle body like uh, Nissan. Uh, ignition is on. Maybe the yeah, maybe ignition is on, but there is no throttle body uh, 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 adjustment or relearn for this particular car. This is why uh, maybe a throttle body need to be replaced. They change this engine, maybe a wiring issue, uh, a review need to be done, but that code is related to the throttle body. When it's kick in, the car go into limp mode. Uh, this is a quick information that I'm gonna do. You see, you say crankshaft learn pattern only. There is no throttle body. If you go to the special function, also some car they have it. You see, TPS position check, it's a different story. I'm gonna look at it, throttle body position check. Honda Soto will reset the TPS learning value. Need to clean the throttle body at the same if reset value. Do you wish? Yes, I'm gonna do this one. Maybe this is one of the relearn system. Value is clear. I'm gonna say, okay, please, I do relearn, make sure all electrical. Okay, let me see what's gonna happen now. Okay, I cleared the code and I did the relearn. The car is start good now. We're gonna wait for a little bit. I'm gonna see if that's gonna kick on. We did the relearn. If it if you learn it and the value is okay, we good. If anything wrong, we will come back again and diagnose this car. But if that one is fixed after the relearn, that means it has a relearn. Uh, maybe the meaning is just different, but I'm gonna turn this car off. Start again. This car is good now. <laughs> accelerate good before we have no way to do anything because before we have no way to do anything because we have no communication with the obd2 so we get the obd2 running thank you for watching mobile electronic diagnostic please subscribe share and like and see you in another video this is muhammad idris i will write down in the description if this reset fix the problem or not or if i have a battery i will wait a little bit in a few part I will let you know if that thing is
is making the car to be done or to be good.